Hi, I'm Vanessa Morano. And I'm Laura Morano. We're here at BuzzFeed. And we're going to be talking about our firsts. First incorrect rumor you read about yourself. I mean, I feel like mine is probably like dating a co-star, because that's literally never happened. The first time I saw how much money I apparently made. Oh, that's on so the internet crazy. Is so wrong. <laughs> So wrong. I wish it was true. But that is for everybody. Yeah. Like I've worked with a lot of actors and every single time, like someone inevitably Googles somebody and is like, wow, I didn't realize, like, what'd you invest your money in? And yeah, every and single like, one's like, what no. are you talking about? That is not even remotely close to accurate. Laura, what is your first memory that comes to mind on the first day of, on set of Boston and Alley? Um, when we were testing, because I didn't meet Caitlin then, but I met Ross and why well, I had known Brainy for years. Just walking in um, and everyone's talking to each other. There's a lot of people and Ross is just there by himself on his guitar. And <laughs> if that's not a description of Ross Lynch, I don't know what is. Vanessa, first memory that comes to mind of the first day on set of Switch to Birth. One of the first scenes, but I don't know if this was the first day, it might have been the second day, was us shooting in front of the Kenish house and us meeting uh, Daphne and uh, Regina and like the, the families that were switched all meeting each other and my character being very mean, um, very, and, and Katie taught us all different words in sign language that day. Also, there was like a bathroom broke down in the middle of the house, so that was a whole moment. The other thing I remember like specifically of like a first on Switched was we had to do a lot of wardrobe fittings for the pilot and Katie and I had kind of met at the test, but we didn't really because she was cast already and they just basically had her in the room to check how tall all the other girls totally. were. classic. Uh, but the first time we like actually interacted with each other was we had like a really last minute uh, fitting right before shooting because they couldn't decide on outfits. And so we, we were do basically sharing a fitting and just like changing and getting naked in front of each other and like going back and forth and back and forth. And then they ordered us food, but they wanted us to stay in the outfits because the producers were gonna come down and improve it. So they wrapped us in plastic wrap. And I have a picture of me and Katie eating Chinese food on the floor of the fitting room literally wrapped That's in plastic. That's pretty special. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. There you go. First kiss. Aw, mine was on camera. Adorable. It was. It was for... I did an independent film called Easy and I was 10 years old and the characters like have to have their first kiss. But so... say what you did in the scene. Oh, I'm getting there. <laughs> So the characters have their first kiss and it's supposed to be cute and sweet and like it's a flashback to the older girl having her first kiss. Uh, and it's supposed to take place in the 80s and so the way that she decides to kiss the boy is they were watching Madonna's Like a Virgin video. And so my character leaves while he's watching the video, goes and gets a blonde wig and dresses up like Madonna and starts singing Like a Virgin to seduce him into a first kiss. Also, the boy did not want to kiss me. I can say that now because I know him now and we're very friendly, but he was not into it. He was like, this seems like a weird thing. This is gross. Kissing's weird. And then the scene didn't make it. <laughs> oh yeah, they cut the scene. That's right, I forgot about that. I'm not in that movie. You're not in that movie. <laughs> um, my first kiss was at a dance. Um, and So it was normal. So it was you know, <laughs> as normal as first kisses can be. And I just remember I could tell um, I was such a jerk. I could tell he was really nervous and I like took a lot of comfort in that. I was like, <laughs> I was like not gonna do it on the dance floor because I'm like that I'm not doing. So um, basic. So basic. So we went like upstairs to the venue um, and um, we kissed and then I was like, you gotta give me more than that. Oh. And then, oh. And then we kissed again and we missed each other's mouths. And then we kissed again and it was good. So it's third time's a charm for a first kiss. First embarrassing moment on set. Ooh, I know this one. I was working on a show called The Comeback and I was 13 years old, so obviously embarrassed all the time. And my character was like a fashionista, so I was always in these like really crazy outfits. And this one outfit was like a flowy skirt that we used as a dress. So it was like tied up like a strapless dress, but it was a skirt. Uh -uh. And I had to walk in front of the camera and like be on my phone like, oh, I'm so bored and then walk past the camera. That's what the shot was. As I did that, it fell like legitimately. Ah. And like, I was wearing bras at this time. Good. So it wasn't like insane, but it was also just Pretty like down to the bra. And like, that was very, very uncomfortable. That scene got cut too. <laughs> Weird. Okay, I'm embarrassed when I think about it now. Okay. But I don't think I was embarrassed in the moment. It's a JCPenney commercial and I was oh, five. Oh yeah. I was crazy. Like, 
crazy. I was, I mean, I was five, so I guess it's expected, but it was like, I kept calling the director my dad. My dad was there on set with me. And the guy who was playing my brother in this JCPenney commercial, I was like, he was older than me and I was like beating him up. <laughs> like I was just like slapping him. I was kicking him. I was just like really just vivacious, I would say. Do you cringe thinking about when we were in Finding Nemo together and you started telling everybody about your imaginary friend, Christina, who died by snake bite, but um, you didn't let anyone know that she was imaginary? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I would, I had an imaginary friend named Christina and she died <laughs> with her family. They were hiking in the mountains and they were eaten by a king cobra. You know, it happens every once in a while. All right, I'm just taking this. Okay. We're gonna do it other yeah, way. Yeah, <laughs> why don't you take that? <laughs> Ooh, first celebrity you ever met. I don't know, I don't know. Because like, we I'm... met people who were like celebrities, but we were so young and didn't. Like Anthony totally. LaPaglia, we were like, that's just that yeah, guy. Anthony, Anthony, so we worked with him on Without Trace, which is the first project we ever did together. Um, and it was the first project we ever did theatrically. Yeah. I had no idea who he was, but I knew that my parents were really excited about him. So then that made me really excited. So I like got really starstruck not knowing really who he was, being six, and being like, oh my God, oh my God, like it's Anthony LaPaglia, oh my God. And uh, by the way, I don't think we pronounce his name correctly. Isn't it LaPaglia? No, but it's Italian, it's like LaPaglia. Anyway, so I was like <laughs> super starstruck, but I just remember being like, hey, I'm so excited to meet you. Who's, who's, who's yours? Well, probably Gilmore Girls, because I was such a big fan of that yeah. show. Like that was probably the first time I was like freaking out about Pretty cool. Oh wow, this is Lorelai, this is Luke, this is Rory, this is real. This is Taylor Dosey's market. First time you were recognized in public? Probably from Gilmore Girls. That would make the most sense. Uh, the first time that comes to my memory is um, from doing uh, fifth grade, or he's more than a fifth grader. Oh yeah. And I remember I would get recognized a lot and I was like, ooh, that's cool. A few years later, I got recognized from being the girl in Modern Family, to which I replied, <laughs> I'm not her, but <laughs> Thank you for enjoying my work. Um, I also have been recognized for doing a great job on Pretty Little Liars. Yeah. Don't know. Great work. Who on Pretty Little Liars, but. We all know who. Yeah. First thing you do, so current, okay. when you have time off. Oh, I sleep. Yeah, I probably sleep too. I sleep here. and watch The Real Housewives. I don't do that. I sleep You're and missing out. watch either an animated movie, a rom-com, or a Christopher Nolan film, which I think are basically all in the same genre. As Real Housewives, absolutely. As Real Housewives, exactly. First piece of advice you'd give someone who's trying to become an actor or singer. What if I gave the advice to the singer? I think you should. <laughs> Take an acting class, do a play, be doing the thing that you're doing, even if you're not necessarily making money at it. Yeah. Like just be acting, be writing, be whatever it is that you want to do creatively and eventually you will make money off of that. You just want to be honing that craft and working. And, and being around it. people who are, are friends who you value them creatively and what they do too. First big red carpet event. Ooh, I think it was the Teen Choice Awards. Yeah. It was probably the Teen Choice it Awards. It was definitely the Teen Choice Awards. And it Awards. was not a year that either one of us was nominated, I don't no, think. No. Yeah. First celebrity <laughs> friend you made. Laura Marano. Vanessa Marano. <laughs> I would say for you, Megan? Oh no, you Yeah, I guess Megan, Megan would be the first. Like, that's so crazy to be like. Uh, my, my friend Megan Martin, who was in Camp we just Rock. Never, we never worked with and, kids, I think. We well, never worked. I did. I, I mean, I didn't meet Megan because we worked together. So that's why this is a weird moment. I yeah. met Megan because I knew her boyfriend at the time and he worked with me. Um, I would weirdly say Rainy Rodriguez because I usually didn't work with kids, but the one time I did was for a show called Huff, um, and she was one of the like three kids that were working. And I just remember like thinking she was the coolest right off the bat. She was so funny, she was so sweet. Her mom was so sweet. I think Rico was there too. Um, and obviously it was like way before Modern Family. Um, and I don't even know if he was like acting yet. And then I worked with her years later in Austin Alley and it was awesome. She was like, I was like, this is so cool. First job. First job. Well, I said it, it was a, it was a JCPenney commercial that I'm not proud of. <laughs> My first union job was a Toyota Sienna commercial and it only aired on Telemundo. Um, did you ever speak Spanish for that or? No, I had to speak Spanish for a Mercedes-Benz commercial. And I had to have a dog uh, come up and lick my ear. And to do that, they put peanut butter behind your ear. 
and uh, it's not an awesome experience. Especially when you're wearing a blonde wig <laughs> and dancing around <laughs> like a virgin and <laughs> seeing. <laughs>